What is up, everyone? It is I, Psycho Blue, conductor of the high train, Mr. Hype Gems, hashtag cross wires and hashtag Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Sorry for the delay, everyone, but it's time we finally put the rest of the Frosty Faustings 2024 footage in front of your eyeballs. And I am not alone in doing so. Joining me today is the director of the amazing Street Fighter Cross Tekken documentary, currently ongoing, Tech Chase TV. Yep, yep. I'm Leo P, repping my squad, Tech Chase TV. Glad to be here, Psycho Blue. Yes, and I'm glad to have you. I mean, there's lots of stuff for Cross Tekken going on, even beyond just what happened a couple weeks ago in Chicago at Frosty Faustings. Mm -hmm. There, there is buzz on Steam. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot what of buzz on Steam. They have been working. Busy little bees behind the scenes. That's right. You can get it if you really want, but you must try, try, and try. And hopefully it won't be much longer until we succeed at last. Why do I suspect it won't be much longer? Well, other than the fact that it's been the oven since just after Christmas... It seems to not be alone. So those of you may not who do not know this, and those at Discord probably do, I have been watching the Steam DB page every day, multiple times per day, since Cross Second first went down in late November of 2021. Every day. And just it's like Rabbit long. and just like Rabbit when Winnie the Pooh was stuck in his door, just when I was about to say maybe it's not gonna happen, it budged. And it's been budging ever since. So this was a couple days ago. So it'd be three days ago at this point. Crosshead got updated again. And it was not alone that week. Ultra Street Fighter 4 got updated. Uh, Fighting Collection got updated. Ultimate Marvel 3 got updated. Infinite got updated. Even if it's just a DRM update, it does seem kind of interesting that these five games are all being updated specifically one after another so close to Capcom Cup. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to say that those characters Ono told me about are going to appear in Cross Tekken all of a sudden. I'm, Imagine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just all, all of a sudden, oh hey, here's E Honda and Lee Chao Lin or something like that. Yo, they would break the internet if they did that. Hey. Nobody's ever done anything like that. That would be crazy. So I'm not holding my breath on that. However... I am at least fairly confident that the Game for Windows Live issues and the black screen issues will be behind us and the game will be purchasable on Steam again in the near future. That much I'm way more confident about than maybe I was just after Evo. I think I told you guys after Evo, the vibe check wasn't exactly what I wanted compared to a few months prior to Capcom Cup of last year. But I made my contacts and they have been knocking on doors, taking names... And looks like they took the right names, and the names they took said, hey, let me get, get on this finally. So we'll see how much longer it is, but I'm fairly certain there's good news coming for Cross Tekken in the very near future. And cross, man. Thank you, Leo, to you and your crew for doing your part for pushing the agenda, because this may not have gotten this far if not for what you guys were doing with the documentary. I look forward to seeing the next part. And there will be yes, name sir. Disclaimer. When we did this, this is going to be the uncut, the raw truth of Cross Tekken. So there will be things, and there may be individuals you may be surprised to see in here. But yeah. we're going to tell the complete story. And I've already spoken to my community, and they want to, they want you guys to see the complete story in as pure a format as possible. So thank you, yeah. Leo P, for leaving That's no right. stone unturned. I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes off the rest of the world, no doubt. Yes, sir. Yeah, we've been just focused on telling the story from the perspective of the people who actually played the game. Exactly. Rather than you know, so many things that came out about the game that bashed it, didn't do well. We already know. We've already heard that story so many times. But it's like there's so many people that actually loved it and actually spent time and played it. So... You know, that's really what we did. We sat down, talked to those people to see how they felt honestly about it, what innovations they felt the game really made for them. And a lot of people, when talking to them, they learned frame data because of that game. They learned how to be more defensive because of that game. So Cross Tekken made a lot of people a better player. 
And I want to think that's what makes the community so amazing because it's not just a place to play games and it's not even just a place to congregate. It's a place where all of us are playing this niche genre and we all come from different walks of life. And outside of those gaming circles, we may not have anything to do with each other or even desire to. But for just one weekend or just one night or just one event or just an encounter online, we're putting all of that aside and we find common ground together. And I think that's a beautiful thing. And Cross Second has created an environment where anyone can feel welcome and everyone can feel feel like they got something to contribute and they most certainly have. So as the Cross Tekken series continues, you will see all sorts of players from the past and the present talking about what this game has done for them. And the answers may surprise you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All righty. Without further ado, let us begin. What I had to do is I also had to pull up my overlay so I can have the scoreboard up. So now that we've done that, let's jump right into the pools matches of Frosty Fousings 2024. There will not be a top that's four good. stream as that's already on Matchstick Melee. And I want to step on their toes, so I'll also put a link to the top four in the YouTube description for this. Um, but those of you might have already seen it, thank you so much. It is right now the highest viewed VOD of anything that was a Frosty side tournament by a wide margin. It actually has more views than some of the main games as well. Even more views than Third Strike. People love watching Cross Tekken. <laughs> I've been telling people. All right, let's begin. You're going to be in a world of hurt. There we go. Um, you can't hear it, but yes, there will be audio in the final clip. Gotcha. Okay, so this looks to be Goji and... Who is this? Let's see who this is real quick. I'm going to look at the bracket right now and see who this is. Look at this guy. Yeah, about to say, don't be a wise guy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going to go no jumps for, for a quick second. Well, I know who the guy on the left is. That's Goji from Florida. Okay. Goji was excited. Like, he was excited, excited to be involved in this thing. Hmm. Let's do this. Uh... No. Okay, I know this is. This is actually... DP off the jump. No punish. They started off like they were getting right to it. Yeah, I'm about to say. <laughs> that might have been why I had an issue seeing who this is. Okay, I know who this is. This is actually someone I'm sponsoring. So Goji okay. is on the left and Crosswires Latinx is on the right. Very cool. Yes, Crosswires Latinx. I have been supporting him since around ECT. I have been paying for his trips. I have been spotting him rooms. I have been supporting his journey, and so far he has not disappointed me. I also told him I need some bodies for Cross Tekken, so come on over and let's make it happen. So Goji from Florida and Crosswires Latinx from the DMV. That's that community you were talking about. That's right. Alright, so they get into it now. <laughs> it's all or there we go, the new Cross Tekken logo. This is after all 2024, and lots of good things are coming for the brand. Another jumping. Goji was crazy excited to play in Cross Tekken this weekend. We're like, doing full screen top two. And we're doing full screen hunting hawks, why not? <laughs> Uni2 just came out, and Akati loves his hunting hawk, so why not keep the spirit alive with the originator of it, you know? You know, with that big damage. I wonder if he could have beat after that. Yeah, yeah I, he could have. Yeah, I wouldn't tell because uh, the juggle points might have been iffy, but either way, he held on and took a pretty convincing round. Mm -hmm. I want to see some DPs. Not, not from you, what tanks, from Goji. Wow. I like that, that though. Was cool. Craziest Goji I mean, loves to go airborne with that dive kick. That's dead. Goji up one nothing. I actually never seen this team, and 
thinking about it, it actually is a really solid. Just, that's yeah. it's a lethal. Team. Is, is busted, and <laughs> Kuma just comes in and does so much damage. It's a particular problem because Farwan gets hard knockdown so easily, and Kuma's Oki is above average. So, yeah, if even if it's not your turn, it's really scary to uh, wake up on Kuma for many reasons. You saw one of them right there with the uh, the rock and rolling. Or, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, anyway, the back medium punch after hunting stance. Because rock and roll circus, and then it's a bear, bear rocket or something like that, where he does the spin. Ooh, okay, the... He thinks he's doing a lot of jumping. It's not because he's playing his Jin, it's he thinks that Gaki will save him, but Goji's anti-air is not too bad, at least with Kuma. I'd love to see more DPs with Waron. Uh, but he does have a good air tar combo. Doesn't really need to DP too much. If he can just uh, do jump tar combo. With, uh, the full screen Tatsu is like he's playing. And what's funny is I know he's better than this because I've seen him play vanilla. But you can't be doing this on Goji because you can tell Goji plays. Oh, you got the crosser and missed it. Oh man, that was yeah. so hype. Safe tag. You see right there, he did it again. He's absorbing the DPs using yeah, the back medium time. punch off hunting. Oh, why are you swinging? Set up, but okay. Why are you swinging? Goji moves forward. And they're pretty convincing, too. Nothing. There was a lot of scramble there. Uh, and my thinks was. I feel like he was panicking every time he got knocked down, so he was going for DP. We saw on two different occasions that Kuma just breakdance through it. And Latinx plays Samurai Showdown, so I know he has the fundamentals he needs to succeed this game. Because just like with Samurai Showdown, cross second is a game where if you do too much stuff, you're going to be punished badly for it. Especially just doing it willy nilly in neutral. And especially against really strong characters, where you have Quarong who's it's always his turn. So you can't just be throwing stuff out. Well, this looks to be... Oh, it's me. It's I'm me. The one there it's is. Crosswires PB. And we got my boy... Argonrost! So, I'm actually really good friends with the Argonrost and his wife, Legion. Like, real good friends. We talk all the time, not just about fighting games. We talk about all of us being on the autism spectrum and being adults with careers, trying to balance all that. So I have nothing but so much love for Arjun Rost and his family. Yeah, they mostly play... They play anime, they play poverty, and they do play NRS games. So... A few with the links. Uh-huh. The thing is, though, he does play this game. Like, I've seen him do combos. So, if I'm not careful, he's playing a team of... Uh, he's playing Lars, who has uh, great normals. Steve's normals, uh, you know what the deal is with Steve at this point. But uh, Lars's normals are pesky for someone like Marduk. That's kind of really be annoying. You saw I did uh, kind of like a Kara move there with the light kick. That way I could be in range to boost him at a fairly safe distance. But yeah, I can't be underestimating uh, Arjun Frost. Overhead, and I got the link. I keep it simple this time. Oh, I missed the CADC. That stinks. Okay, long beach for me. Uh oh. It's gonna be. Pretty decent corner carry with that, though. Okay, I'm lucky that he didn't uh, overhead me off that counter hit. That would have been uh, a dual star right there, like that. I'm dead. There. Oh, maybe not. Oh, all right, yeah, I, I panicked there. I got lucky. Cross art and now Bowser is all on his own. Which he can. I mean, it's just going to be annoying because, uh... Oh, trade? You look, you can tell I want this bad. You see how I'm doing yeah. uh, the crumple. I'm keeping it simple. No more CADC stuff. I'm going to take a round one while I still can. Alright, game one goes to me. It got dicey there at the end. Yeah, I mean, he had the solid Steve combo until the very end that he could have had that that round to the other round. And then all it takes is one drop. 
Okay, I managed to... No, I this it again. Darn it. That time I got it. Yeah, it's a new control. I just got the uh, the Power A fusion pad. And I'm still learning... Uh, yeah, I'm still good. Yeah, I'm keeping it simple there. Bop. Oh, I missed it. I wanted to follow up the other uh, jump up, but no worries. Yeah, Balrog doesn't have great tagging combos. He doesn't. Um, and it gets kind of dicey. Like, for some reason, one of those characters where I feel like his combos change depending what dimension you're playing in. Like, this is 720p, but that combo is easier in uh, 1080p just due to the height of the screen, which needs more time to connect with a juggle. The good news is, even though this is on 360, from now we'll be on PC from now on. I got some mini PCs. So Cross Second will be on mini PC, 1080p, and 120 hertz from I'm now surprised on. surprised you didn't punish that tag. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. caught gonna... me off guard. I was expecting to tag out like that. What? <laughs> Why? Oh my I mean, god. This is the big, Mr. Big Punish on I was too. baiting that. I knew it was coming, and Balrog moves so forward that he missed entirely. No worries. Mamo Mongolian chop. Overhead link. I didn't even try doing uh the full link. I said, oh, let me just keep it simple. Just do the baby stuff. Man. That is enough. Okay. Oh, okay. He, he knows what to do now. He's not going to get away with it. Thankfully, he's... Ooh, he got me again. He faked me out. This is a disastrous round. Disastrous round. Buttons, but not, uh, Good block. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. What am I doing? I probably wanted to do, um, yeah, I'm dead. Th that one I deserve to die for. But I don't know why I did that into EX dash. I probably wanted to do a boost, but I was pressing too many buttons and got that instead. Mm. Anyway, he took a round, and now I got to clean things up big time. That was a very sloppy round for me. He had my number big time. Yeah. Except catching you pushing buttons on that first round, but oh, I want air didn't air. quite finish the confirmed. Oh, still couldn't get it. Yeah, I got lucky there. So I thought for sure that was where he was doing it. Not using standing medium kick. No. Which is like the best one. I want that raw launch so bad. I did manage to bait that though. And I caught the one I wanted. Good. The one with the least health, the one I wanted to catch, and he's the one who's going to take the brunt of this. I'd rather deal with uh, Steve than deal with Lars. Ooh, uh, uh, I missed that time, no worries. In the match, uh, 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 I got another super. Oh, no, okay. I didn't. I was just short. How? Okay. I thought oh. I had two bars. I was just short. Look at two bars. How did I? Oh, my goodness. I know I have his number on these, uh, these low attacks. Nope, not going to work. <laughs> Not gonna work. Nobody has matchup knowledge for it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got sloppy there. I was surprised. I don't know why I kept missing it. Well, launches. Because he was going crazy with those crouches. And maybe because I was too far away, he was doing them, but just outside Balrog's launch range. Balrog's a character where his range, other than his heavy buttons, is pretty gosh darn gimpy, so it could be both. Mm hmm. Yeah, Balrog is such a weird character in this game. Well, we're about to get so weirder. Like he doesn't do anything well. We're about to get weirder because next up is going to be me and Goji. You running Sim, Nina? <laughs> That's right. The reason why is I was playing. I was playing Goji a lot, and. When we played, this was the one we had most problems with. So I want to keep this with a. Uh... Before I reveal uh, the big, the big main team, I don't want to be just because I have to see him again, most likely in top four. Or I was thinking when I was playing him, he's most likely going to be in top four. So let me not pull out the big guns just yet. Let's see if I can deal with a team that I'm not going to use in on stream. That way I can take wins easier. Yeah. I can tell he had problems here, so let me just uh, be, uh... So, because uh, we rolled out and he uh, crossed it uh, auto correct that's why. Where's your face? Yeah. That's what I wanted. Uh, uh. Oh, no, you didn't die! Now you died. Magic Pixel really wanted to mess me up. It's like the referees, the Suns, the Ishbia penalty came into effect. Patience. Oof, missed his, uh, 
Oh, I just ate that. I don't know why I walked forward. Maybe I was expect to pull up like that. Another raw launch. I missed the DP though. Had to be reverse DP. It didn't come out. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that time I got against a new pad. I'm still adjusting to it. Good reversal. Ooh, something was coming. I'll take it. I'll take it. Come on. Yeah, I just wanted to get out of that point. He's trying to chase you down by going in the air, but it just keeps Well, that time, well, he can't because I'm using a lot of uh, low medium punches. Why? That's catching his command dash a lot. Well, I mean, when you jump in the air, he's he's trying to chase you in the air. Yeah. Well, to be fair, he has great air normals. It's not the worst idea. It's just going to be hard for him to uh, catch me. But when he does, it hurts. You saw he got the float state off the dive kick. Yeah. Ah, too far away. Stinks. Oh, I missed, I missed the anti-air. Yeah, because I, I thought it was going to at least trade. He probably would have still died. I might have uh, botched it and gotten a command dash instead. Just based on the you saw Ooh, he knew I was going to press buttons there. Now he's using DPs. No worries. Ooh. I caught him sleeping. Alright, watch it. Ahead. There you go. Now he alpha counters. Oh, he didn't. He caught me. He caught me. I wasn't expecting that. Nope, I'm out. Get out of me out of here. None of this cross up nonsense. Blah! And I said, none of that, sir. You've seen it too much. Enlightenment is still far. That and I have reverse it moving forward to get me out of position. So I knew he was going to do something. It just happened to be that option covered most of his. Although Sim doesn't really have combos in this game, his neutral is still good. Yeah, for sure. And then you're having Nina in the back who just melts. And again, this is the new pad, the Fusion Power A pad. This is also so, getting used to the, the clutch execution. You see why? That's why I said he's not going to dash forward much. Otherwise, that happens. Yeah, you definitely should just walk and block while you're on the ground. So you know, you're the that time I went low with the Skull Splitter and I got a counter hit, so ground bounce for me. And a quick victory, I got a perfect. Okay, what's he gonna do? Uh, uh, I was expecting him to roll forward. I think he had a missing pool when he moved to a jump there. See, this is where it gets hard, I'm not sure where he wants to. Oh, I missed it. Again, input error. Uh, uh, uh. Did I get it? No, I didn't! Too low on the ground! I, I ran a juggle points, one or the other. Probably because I started with something. Even though he whipped the normal, he still ended up being able to punish. Man, that's rough. I had that. I had that. I don't know why that super didn't connect. I have to look at it again and see what happens. But I thought I had juggle points to finish it. Maybe I was too low on the ground, or I did the wrong version of Skull Splitter. I think the medium ah, got me again. I think the medium version is what I need to do if I want to combo the super. That was a good same spot to teleport you to there. Yes, I had a feeling it was going to be like that. I didn't want to lose the, the position either. I'm a very big advocate of maintaining the position I want, the sweet spot. Because if he jumps, I want to hit near him. Oh, good block. Good block. All right. Oh, he moved. No worries. Jump, please. Okay. Jump, please. Or do that, one or the other. That's fine. Good, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, I missed it. Too low on the ground. Keep that pressure up. Got spooky. I'm saying, yeah, I'm just going to be super lame right now. Yeah, definitely with this matchup, there's no reason to push the issue. I'm surprised that neutral jump didn't hit you. Right above. Got it. Uh, that was him, by the way. So he said, yeah, it's done. Panicking, he burnt a lot of meter there. He didn't know how to get in with Kuma against him. 
and it's really difficult. Big body, slow movement. Yeah, my X-Use was all over the place there. I could have finished it a number of times, but dropped something crucial. Again, new pad, getting used to it. Man, that was rather intense. I mean, everything would have gone wrong given that Dalsim is no health and Nina no. isn't much better off. Yeah, for sure. This... I think he was just panicking because he didn't know how to get in on you. So he wasn't really thinking when he had those opportunities when he landed a hit. He'd be like, okay, I, I actually got it. I think it was kind of more of a surprise to him. Get this, well. started. this is going to be Kanme Zeron versus... Data FGC Dirty Llama. Come on. I can tell you a little bit about Dirty Guile. Dirt. That is an honest team. I can tell you a little bit about Dirty Llama. Dirty Llama was second place at CEO 2019 using this team. Mm. He is also obsessed with Saint Seiya, just like I am. <laughs> I don't see too many guys. I have some cool stuff, but... He's not Ultra Guy, unfortunately. Yeah. There are some buffs that he has in Ultra that should have been in cross tech and that would have changed many things for him, especially in a tag game. But it is what it is. Nice play, but it's solid. Nice link. How is he ended with... Oh, no. Wow. That hit from a cut in way. Slide. Well, no one, oh, no. no one travels quite like Guy. That's why he's got the Skechers. <laughs> Get back, bro. Keep the solid pressure up. Basic stream. So as a reminder... He's, he's respecting the, the Hadouken too much with Ken. It's yes. not good. I was about to say, at that range, you could easily punish Ken for the Fireball because... His far does not have the pushback that Ryu's has. Yeah. And he didn't punish on that top two. Well, Every time, he gets away with these really bad top But did you see how late he tag canceled even though Ken was very far away? That's yeah, in, in that instance, for sure. But the, the other three, he got away with doing raw top two. Well, what is... The boost chain wasn't safe. What would you have Cody do to chase it down if it goes that far? Uh, well, he was blocking the first hit, so he could have, even if he didn't know what to do, you throw a jab while you're crouching, and you already crouch, you he, he would block and then crouch, and then let him get over. It could be a situation he's not used to the Tatsu doing that, because normally when Ken does his Tatsu from point blank, they tend to force standing, right? Yeah. That could be why we're expecting to get away like that. But See, and that's the... A thing like that where you whip. Missed the boost. Well, it's 360 coming. I've spoiled people to play on PC and all the higher pressure up so much. Throwing rocks. Yep. Okay, another back throw. Well, no. Then dashes in his face. <laughs> I think that was a missing thing. Uh, no, I don't know. No, I think he wanted to get DP because in Fire 5 and 6 it was easier. But in Cross Tech, if you hit them for uh, anti air Tatsu like that, you're going to fly up the distance like that. He's not expecting that. Uh, I, I mean, he, uh, he dashed forward and then the DP and Cody was rolling. Forward. That's what I mean. I think oh, when okay, okay, he okay. did the top two, he was expecting Cody not to fly so far in his argument. Oh, uh, understood. Because think about it, five and six, when he anti-air Tatsus like that, or air-to-air -air Tatsus as an anti-air, they don't fly so far. Eats two DPs, matter of fact. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Interesting trade there. I think it's a good point blank. Yeah, I was just about to say point blank. Well, he's getting more pushback now. Just don't do it with the corner like he was. He missed the link again. See, in that instance is what I'm talking about. He's crouching it and then stands up. Into the top. It 
could be that. Kept it simple with jab, jab, medium punch. Both of them are missing links. That's why they're not expecting either side to evade their attacks like this. For sure. One side is surprised they're evading, the other side is surprised they got away from it. What I'm noticing is he's not doing nearly enough run stop. No. I'm actually kind of surprised I know Zeron plays Street Fighter. I know he doesn't play guy. Even just basic guy. By the way, Kande Zeron is from Kande Siam's group, Kame Studios, aka Jerry Kills Pro. He, just like I have crossed wires and supporting with Ting, some of the other players, he has Kame Studios, he supports many players such as Zeron or Scrub Cybot, and I'm sure you've heard the name Scrub Cybot before. Good air throw. I was actually not expecting that. Right, a somewhat convincing win from Dirty Llama. Not the cleanest, but convincing all the same. That is true. Those shoes custom made. All right, next slide. We have looks to be. This is interesting. Come on. This is very interesting. We have Kame Siam again, the artist formerly known as Jury Kill's friend. Going up against Goji, and I said earlier, Goji was very excited to be a part of this event. So that's great. We love hearing about the excitement for Cross Tekken. Oh wait, no, no, this is not a uh, Siam. This is uh, Dirty Llama again. It's because Ken was starting off. I got confused. If you don't take this it's all or nothing. But this is loser's bracket, by the way. This is going to decide who's on loser's side top. So I believe that was... Yeah, that's Loser's Quarters. So Let me, uh, think that. Put him in the corner with the mix. Give some space. I should note that even though Goji is from Florida, he is not present at the CEO. Dirty Llama got second place in. And Spicy Steve won that CEO, by the way. Drops. Because Puma's quarter combos are kind of sus. That's why. Yeah. Okay, pressure. I think he wanted to get out of stance, but. Okay. Possible. Either way, he got the reversal. Well bounce, yeah. Caught me a fish. A bit. Mm -hmm. so. Remember at final round? With Seth and a little infiltration, how many times infiltration got this? <laughs> yeah, hunting stands nobody, right in your nobody face. Nobody saw Kuma at that time. We didn't know what was going on. Hunting stands right in your face. If you see him, you try getting away or DP, he might just do that. That was a good way to punish the up back. He's got. So, whoa! Wow. He convert off overhead like that? Goji! He just went through his body with Tatsu. <laughs> no, it's because so yeah, Llama's it was... Tatsus are... I don't know why he's doing YOLO Tatsu like just this. It doesn't force here. standing after the second hit. Yeah. So you can easily I duck and do whatever you want at that point. I need to see some EX Tatsu. Yeah, he needs to get close enough to do it. Like, he's doing Tatsus at ranges that he won't be able to do that. That's your turn, by the way. Yeah, Warong knows that's still my turn. I'm surprised he didn't go for medium DP on that, because that was very odd. Probably because uh, the angle was off. He oh. left that linger for a bit. Careful. This one he can't command dash under. It's not like Ken is going to give him Dalsim low attacks for full screen. Oh. Well, yeah, because he used the heavy version. Only the medium version would have won. Heavy version has very little visibility. Used for combo extended right now. See, this is something that Siam does a lot with his DP. What that, yeah. What, what happened with that combo there? Was it a drop or was he trying to go? Which one? Uh, green pack off the top to the Um. And they didn't standing around. Him. Yeah, I don't know what he wants to do there. His synergy with Guile when it comes to Tatsu combos isn't particularly astounding unless he catches them standing, and then Guile can maybe get a jump into upside down kick into the links. 
Very nice play neutral. Goji is in trouble right now. Goji in big trouble. He let he let Llama get back in this. He's gonna win. Llama is going yeah. to win. Enough time on the clock. Get away. Get away. At that point, if you know you're gonna lose, you might as well just yeah, I don't agree with Goji just letting him get away with that. He could have finished that a long time about like that. Take that for at least bring him to him. Got him again. Ba. Good punish. He didn't let him do anything in between that. At least he knows the punish on that. No reversal from Guile. Again, no reversal punish. Ooh, he should have been dead. And he was not. By the way, Goji's up one nothing. It was time. They jump in. They jump in, yeah, sure. No, no why'd you here. do that? Drops. Why did you do that? You should know that Ken has no no jungle points when he does his combos like that. Launcher, bop bop. Thankfully, Kuma's corner combo sucks, so won't hurt too much. Oh yeah, flinch. Flash kick. He might be able to take this. Back in, back in. Down to the wire. Still oh my not enough. It should be a Flash penalty again. in effect, oh, okay. but he got a sonic boom, and now it's tied at one. I would have just stayed in face. Flash kick again. Why are the magic pixels going into overdrive? None of them have defense gems on. Right? <laughs> the math is not see. the math is not mathing. I need to see the hard Puma stance. Oh no, they're not worth it. <laughs> they're not worth it. Kuma does so much damage that he doesn't need any of that tuck to do the exact same damage that you would have just a baby combos. Just do a scaling work. You can get as much damage from Kuma's heavy normals into a heavy frolicking bear than you would if you're doing the loops. Excellent combo, by the way. No, he's not. Now he is. Yeah, I knew because Kuma had him in the corner, and again, Kuma's corner combos are not very good. Still got him. <laughs> you saw that Lombo was looking for and said too high. Oh, you walked under again. He is 0 for 2 for that setup. There's only one LPN special, and that's from the man himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, he was baiting out DP though. Huh? He knew. Because they traded on two different occasions. Though. Walk up and overhead. How rude. The trade! Ooh. Because it was two hits and there's one point of armor. It, there was a trade rather than just a pure win. Raw flash kick. No respect. No respect. That scramble city right now. Back throw to the corner. Just jumping. Okay, okay get comboed. See if I care. Keep it simple right now. Oh, I like that. He used the air talk mode, which has the auto float. Got him again. Only one hit that time, though. Boom, boom. There's no, there's no mix-up off that. It's overhead or straight punch. I didn't think, yeah, I didn't think he was gonna go for the turn. I thought he was gonna uh, go for it. Oh, he still got it. Oh, you flinched! All you had to do was DP or even raw launch. You knew it was gonna go low because that's such a great button. Wait, no, he didn't. He actually used a standing attack. So just DP instead and bring in Guile. Either way, Goji hangs on and moves forward two to one. Yeah, after uh, the tagging, I didn't think he was going to go into Kuma Strength. Because I thought he was going to go for a command grab or something. Because he, he didn't really show the threat of command grab the whole time. That would have been the perfect time to do it. I haven't seen him use a command grab so much. When I yeah, think about it. It's the best grappler in the game, and you're not using his command grabs. <laughs> Maybe half circle back forwards hard, or he's just afraid he's getting neutral jumped on. To be fair, that's common, because... Why do you think I am so successful when I do? Because you see me play Bonkakuma, right? Mm -hmm. You see how much many times I get successful command grab. The reason why is Kuma has so many Oki options, such as the spinning bear or the target combo. 
that sometimes they'll think the best option is just to block when they wake up. Yeah. Which is why I usually catch people with the hat. And again, it has to be the rock roll circles. Hat circle back forward. Because the headbutt only catches standing opponents. And that typically opponents are going to be down back a lot against Kuma since his overhead is pretty telegraphed for the most part. Mm -hmm. This is going to be, from the looks of things, Loser's Semis, I think. Sakura Nina. Yep, Loser's... This, no, it's this Loser's Quarters. Loser's Semis will be later in top four. Loser's Quarters is... Looks to be Arshin Rost and Endgamer 3K. I hate that Sakura dude. Are you ready? She's fun, but... Given how abusive she... She has some buttons that are really abusive. Like that yeah. move. That move is stupid. Yeah, her, her stand around hustle is really good. That move is stupid. Her crouch heavy punch is iffy, but her stand heavy kick is crazy. So Nina Army came out in full force for Frosty Faustus. <laughs> yeah, this is when I knew I had to play the main team on stream so I don't step on in gamer's toes if I pick Dawson Nina again. Speaking of stepping on toes, look at that. Just came in with the toes, but the stand... Well, that Link! The stand roundhouse from Mars led to all that! The combo video! I kind of like this team, but it's large team. I do too! It's a good team! And I hope he sticks with it for next time, so I heard he will oh. most likely be at CEO. There's what you were talking about with uh, if you crouch roundhouse. Yeah. Crouch Pierce. Yeah, you see, I was a problem earlier when I was playing Balrog. Oh, BP. Super slow. Keep it simple, those combos. I actually spoke to Endgamer afterwards, like uh, Kevin Durant and Bulbul, Bul, and pulled the clipboard saying, this is what you want to do when you hit someone with Nina in this situation. You leave a lot of damage on the table and positioning. Mm -hmm. Good Absolutely. With all these damage gems, who needs the optimal stuff, you know? For sure. And Nina does crazy damage, so it's like, her, even if you're leaving damage on the table, she does more damage than most people. And the way, and the way damage works for us tech is that uh, it's very front-heavy scaled, so we're not front-load your damage as much as possible. Mm -hmm. The longer the combo, the less damage it does. Okay, there you go, boost. Knockdown. Back. Punish, good. DP is even for me. Like, you saw him more fast. Yep. Finishing in style. So Endgamer, you can see the fundamentals in play for him. Endgamer plays a lot of Street Fighter 4 and newer Street Fighter games. So there's no shocker that the fundamentals carry over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's playing pretty solid. He's not doing too much jumping in. And getting good reads on... When he knows that the opponent wants to uh, he, he hit that stand around house. He could have launched from there. You have forever to react to this. Another. Well, to be another. fair, it, it has deceptive range. So you know it's slow. You're not expecting to hit so far. You have to treat like a scissor kick. You could have found it with stand around house from there. And now we're I guess he didn't believe in it. Go ahead. Double overhead? Well, oh, Steve's overhead sucks, so you can just take it all day and not worry about it. I mean, he ain't doing anything at this point right now. <laughs> Maybe he's not doing Well, now he's going to do something. This is going to hurt. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, there you go. Finish the food this time. I mean, Steve's overhead is not going to give you much, but if you're eating four or five of them. Well, the thing is, though, it's not as scary as Jury's. I'll tell you why. Because Jury has low attacks she can rely on, and Steve does not. The reason why I have Steve so laughably low, despite all the damage he does, he does manage to hit somebody, is that he has no low attacks to really scare people and do anything other than just walk in. If you are good at down backing and being really patient, you can wait out Steve and eventually get your turn back. More accurate. <laughs> they have made him such a joke in the Tekken lore. Remember he was a Mishima bioweapon and he was tied to Zaibatsu as Nina's son slash clone engineer by the Zaibatsu, and now he's... Now he's Mike Bibby. Have you seen his ending in Tekken 8? 
<laughs> he turned to Mike Divi. He's like, juice is all get out and seven feet tall. Looks like Abigail now. That's why I said he's Mike Divi after you retire, where he just gained 80 pounds of muscle for no reason. That's what a basic juice chain. Speaking of gaining muscle, Nina is saying, son, I'm grounding you. We're breaking these arms so you can stop juicing and stop roiding. No reason to be at the gym if you're in the hospital. Okay, they find Luther now. Oh no! Ooh, Save jump and no punt. What was that cross under? I don't know. I haven't seen. I haven't seen that hat before. Yeah, anytime I see someone be on the other really side of somebody and not expecting, I always get scared. It's like, when did this happen? Ooh, jump again. They should be dead. Uh, yep. Got it again! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I've gotten it wrong three times now. Sorry, Jimmy, I failed you. He's not dead, Jim. Okay, we'll back overhead. Got him again. Break. Okay. Break. Uh, yeah, not enough. It only 200 damage. Lovering time. We should do it. Yeah, overhead. Spin to win. Endgamer had a lot of good neutral jumps where he got most of his his damage from. Even though the follow-up combos from the neutral jump weren't optimal, as long as you keep getting that opening hit, it just works out for you. Yes, indeed. I think that might be everything. Okay. Everything I had in pools. Again, if you want to see what happens next, if you haven't already done so, top four, yeah, top four is on Matchstick Melee. This was Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and you saw the games that were featured there. Cross Tekken had the most views of all the VODs that you see in this array right here. And that is no small feat. Look what's going up against. It's going up against Marvel. Marvel, baby. This wasn't even a featured, top, like a top-heavy community tournament. But as you said... What the people really want is Street Fighter Cross Second, and we are happy sure. to oblige them. Game is the best. And hopefully it won't be much longer until we see the goods and more people can enjoy it without having to jump through hoops to get it. Yep, and then they're going to hit us with a surprise with new characters added to it. <laughs> if only. <laughs> that would be so crazy. All right. Thank you so much, by the way, Leo, for jumping on and keeping me company this evening. No, thanks for having me, man. I love talking about cross tech and, and uh, watching matches, man. It's just, this game is always so fun to see. There's always so many wacky things. We saw 95 magic pixels. And then it's just, it's just an enjoyable title to me. And you see how quickly things can shift. You saw me getting salty, even though I played these sets two weeks ago. And I was getting salty at some of these drops that were happening. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> I even, yeah, sure. I kind of did some stunting in top four where I was maybe playing my food too much. And just because I wanted to be coy and taunt once, even though I had full health, I didn't have full health after that. <laughs> two guesses and I was dead. Two hits and I was dead. Two exchanges, all it took. Catch me when I was taunting and then catch me with Kuma's target combo. Catch me again with the hunting stance normals launch into horror and I'm dead. Mm-hmm. It was that's, that's what's so great about this game. It's I went like, full I went full Falcons. It is a neutral heavy game, but it's also super explosive. And that that is what I love about it. Because depending on what your play style is, you want to be in your face and you want to just do big burst damage, you could do that. You want to play slow, methodical, neutral with, you know, a team that really benefits from that, you can do that as well. Player expression, I think, is captured amazingly in this title. And not everyone thinks that about Cross Tech, which is why I'm glad to educate you and why I'm glad you're here with your series to educate the masses in a different way. Thank you again, Leo, for all you do, and look forward to seeing the next entry in the documentary series. Yes, sir. We are still cutting it up, putting it together. <clears throat> and, well, uh, we we got some solid stuff in there, and I've been having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, 
right now, uh, this next section is what we have all we have planned. But if we can get some more people that want to talk about the game that I've played, I'm totally down to do it. Part three, but part two is is close to being fully done, and then ready to put it up soon. Patience brings great rewards, and you're seeing that with again the activity on Steam. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting and fighting and fighting and fighting, keeping the faith, keeping the faith. And all of that will come to a head soon enough. I, I got, I've got a lot of confidence it's not going to be much longer, looking at uh, how deep it's in the oven all the patches have been happening since then. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to let you enjoy your evening, and I'm going to get to my paperwork. And anyone watching, thank you so much. Anyone watching on YouTube, this will be up by... Tomorrow, Saturday at the latest, and maybe up tonight since I have the raw recording right now. But either way, this is Psycho Blue, conductor of the hype train, Mr. Hype Gems, hashtag Crosswires, hashtag Street Fighter Cross Tekken, home court. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you next time in whatever and wherever endeavor it may be. Later, everyone. Enjoy the Super Bowl, all right? I'm not going to watch since my teams have long since been eliminated, but may the commercial be nice, you know? Yeah. Well, thanks for having me again. It's your boy, Leo P, representing Tech Chase TV. Everybody be safe out there. Best wish, everyone, and keep on crossing that line.